Hey guys, I wanted to do a comparison video for you today on the Jujube Hobo Bee versus the Jujube Between. The Hobo Bee I have is in the Early Sunrise print and the Between is in the Zany Zinyas print. Uh, the Hobo Bee is a current uh, purse style diaper bag uh, offered by Jujube and the Between um, is an older, smaller uh, diaper bag offered by, that was offered by Jujube, but has since been discontinued. Um, essentially, the Hobo Bee is kind of like the new Between. Um, the Between was discontinued, and the Hobo Bee is, you know, like the similar size um, bag that uh, replaced it, essentially. Um, so I wanted to um, go over the features um, of both bags, since uh, Between still are available. Um, you can get them, like, on eBay or the Buy, Sell, uh, Trade, Jujube uh, group on Facebook, Craigslist, wherever. Um, they are great bags, um, so we'll go over the features and then the carrying capacity and kind of how they pack. Um, so I'll start with the Hobo B, which is on uh, the left here. Uh, the Hobo B has uh, a bottle pocket on either side. Um, this strap is actually um, a custom seatbelt strap um, that I have put on here. Um, the strap that comes with it matches the bag um, and it does have a pad. Uh, in the back, there is um, a change pad pocket, and then there's a, a main interior pocket, um, a felt line zip pocket, and then um, a mommy pocket here in the front. Um, the between has bottle pockets on either side, um, has a messenger style strap with a pad. Um, this one is not um, easily removed like the one on the Hobo Bee, um, and it's pretty thin. Um, this is similar in size to the actual um, Hobo Bee pad. So you can see it's a lot thinner. Um, and then there's a change pad uh, pocket on the back. This one comes with a memory foam changing pad, whereas the um, Hobo Bee comes with a light changing pad. Um, there's a mommy pocket in the front, a uh, zippered, um, more of a main compartment, and then an additional zippered compartment in the back. Um, so I'll unpack the stuff that I have in the Hobo Bee and then place it um, into the between. So we will start, um, I have nothing in the bottle pockets right now. Um, normally the only thing I keep in any bottle pockets, if you've seen my other videos, um, is my keys, occasionally a sippy for my daughter. Um, and they both have the change pads in the back right now, just for comparison's sake. Um, usually I don't carry the change pad from either bag when I'm using them. Um, so my phone is in the um, belt line pocket on the Hobo Bee. In the um, between, I like putting it in the sunglass pocket or one of the bottle pockets. Um, this is an iPhone 6. Um, it fits barely um, in the zip pocket of the Hobo Bee. It does fit, but if you have any bigger of a phone, it will not. Um, it also fits great in any of the sunglass pockets on any GGB bag, old or new. Um, so it's a great place to keep it here um, in the between since it doesn't have that felt line pocket and it still provides it some protection. Um, in the mommy pocket um, on the Hobo Bee, um, it's really long and thin and a lot of people um, don't like that. It makes it hard to get in and out. I don't have a problem with it, um, with the way I pack. Um, I'm still able to fit quite a bit in here. I have hand lotion. Um, just kind of thrown in there on the um, key leash. I have my wallet. It's just a nice thin wallet, um, so it fits in there well. Um, there's a zip pocket in the back. It goes the full length of the bag. And in there, all I have is um, my Tylenol and Advil. I like keeping it in zip pockets if possible, so it's uh, further away from prying little hands. Um, there's two mesh pockets um, in the uh, mommy pocket here on the Hobo Bee, and in one side I have um, a coin purse, this is the pixie dust print, it just has extra cards uh, that don't fit my wallet, uh, gum and lip balm. And then in the other mesh pocket I just have a little um, coin purse type pouch um, that has some mommy needs, so pads, tampons, hair ties for me and my daughter. And then just thrown at the bottom, I always like to keep a tie to go pen because I'm messy and so are my kids, and then uh, a regular pen. So I will put um, all that in the mommy pocket here in the um, between. There's a little zip compartment here, a um, kind of elastic compartment that matches the print of the bag, and then two mesh pockets um, in the front. Um, the little mesh pockets here fit my um, coin purses really well. I'll put those in there. Um, unfortunately, the uh, zip pocket here is just a smidge too small to shove uh, my pill container in, so I put it in this little elastic 
um, container. It does fit and it is um, a little bit of a tighter squeeze to get out, um, so it makes it harder for kids to get in by a little bit. Um, my gum does, oh sorry, my gum goes in here. Um, I was trying to see my lotion and my chapstick can fit in this little zippered pocket. I usually just leave it open so it's easier to get them out, they don't spill out or anything. I just throw the two pens in the bottom and then I use the key leash again for my wallet. Um, this Molly Pocket is definitely much um, easier to use. You can see into it easily, um, grab everything easier. Um, it's more similar to like a Mommy Pocket on a BFF, be prepared. Um, it has the gusseted sides, zips all the way down. Um, so it's definitely kind of an easier to use Mommy Pocket and it still fits um, just the same amount that was in my Hobo Bee. Um, like I said, there's nothing in my bottle pockets. So we'll open um, the inside of the Hobo Bee. has uh, a long zip pocket in the back, two mesh pockets um, in front of that, then just the main compartment. And then you have a um, mesh pocket here and then a little zip pocket. Um, the between is divided into a couple sections. So this bigger, what I'll call the main compartment, um, has a long zip pocket and two mesh pockets and then this little elastic thing that I think was meant to hold like wipes, um, more so in like a harder uh, wipes case. And then in the um, back here, and this zipper um, goes like all the way down and it's gusseted. The back zippered section does not go all the way down, goes maybe an inch and a half or so down. Um, and it just has um, two mesh pockets and it's very slim. So um, in the main compartment here, go ahead and transfer um, zip pocket to zip pocket. So in this long zip pocket in my Hobo Bees, I like to keep um, play packs um, for my daughter for out and about and she needs um, something to keep her busy. They fit so nicely in there. And that's all I keep in that pocket, um, just to keep, save on space. Um, then in the Hobo Bee, I have um, a small travel on packing cube and this just has snacks in it. Um, I like to use the small size for snacks in my smaller bags. Um, it does fit better. Uh, depending what I'm doing, um, but I really prefer to use the medium uh, size in general just because my kids are snack fiends. But anyways, if you're not familiar with these, they have gusseted sides. They do have a little pocket in the back, which is great to carry um, a bib. Um, I have a bunch of stuff crammed in here, two pouches, some fruit snacks, yogurt drops for my son, all kinds of stuff um, fits in there, even though this is a really small size. Um, and it fits nicely um, in mesh pockets on either bag. So there it is in the uh, between. Then on the other side here, um, I just have a small set piece uh, in the pinky sweater with just a few toys for my son in case he's bored when we're out. Um, so like a teething ring, this silly little bath toy that he loves to chew on, um, and this little monkey car. Um, so kind of keep him busy and distract him. Um, and that fits nicely in this mesh pocket. So I pretty much just transferred um, all the same pockets. They have the identical uh, pocket structure uh, in this compartment to the Hobo B main compartment. Then um, in the front here, I have um, my med kit. Um, it just has stuff for minor scrapes, cuts, so I spray antiseptic, band-aids of all sizes, and neosporin packs. Um, this, I could put a couple of places in this bag. Um, I like putting it with the small set piece. I think it fits in there um, nicely. Um, if it were a little bigger, it could fit um, in this elastic strap. It could technically fit in front of this uh, travel on packing cube here, um, or I could shove it in the mommy pocket. There was still plenty of room. Um, I'm gonna. All I have in the main compartment here um, are some wipes and a quick. I'll do the quick uh, in a minute. So this is my hand face wipes. My must have wipes. Um, you can either shove these here. Um, under this elastic, since they're kind of fat enough to stay, or just down um, into the bag. Um, and then finally, in the Hobo Bee here, um, as far as the pockets on the side, I just have, um, for my son, a bottle of water. And I know this is backwards, but we're almost done with bottle feeding formula, all that. Uh, formula is new to us, so I have two scoops of formula uh, in this bottle, and I just add water to it, which is the backwards way to do it, but I don't have a formula container. Uh, and those fit nicely um, in the interior of the bag if you want, um, or if you have more bottles um, or whatever, you could put them in the bottle pockets. I just prefer to have everything inside my bag 
um, so you don't have to worry about it. And then I just have a burp cloth. So all that fits nicely in there. And that uh, takes care of um, all the pockets that are in the inside of the Hobie. And you can see I still have a lot of room um, on the top. I could cram more stuff in here. Um, if I am using the between, um, I like to use that extra space for extra toys or other random things. Um, then in the Hobie, all I have left um, is this quick. Um, it's in the uh, purple paisley, which is a gorgeous print. Um, in here, I have all my diapering needs. So I have um, two 4T5T pull-ups, uh, two size 3 diapers, um, some flushable wipes since my daughter's potty training, a thing of uh, travel pampers wipes, uh, a pair of shorts for my daughter in case she has an accident for potty training, a uh, onesie for my son because that's what's most likely to get soiled on him. And if he doesn't wear pants, it's not a big deal because it's still summer. Uh, a couple disposable trash bags, my hand sanitizer, and then just some A and D ointment. And that's all that was in uh, the quick. And so in the uh, between, I like using this little back pocket. Here's basically my diapering quick. Um, it's a little uh, harder to use, in my opinion, that way versus a quick. I prefer the quick better because the quick can come out of the hobo bee. Um, if I just want to run somewhere, like to the bathroom, to change one of my kids and leave um, my bag with my husband, but it does work really well. Um, so I just roll up the clothes um, just the same way I had um, in the quick and shove them at the bottom um, of the bag there. Um, for the mesh pockets is where I like to keep the diapers in pull-ups. Um, it is a little bit harder to do this way to initially pack, I think, but it does work, I promise. Um, I've used this bag this way several times. It's just kind of a pain to pack, um, more so with the large pull-ups. A lot of times I have to pull the clothes kind of out and then shove them down. So it's more of the restocking that's a pain. Pulling them out is super easy. Um, and usually if I am using this bag, I like to... Um, put the trash bags in this A&D ointment and just like a small coin purse um, from Jujubee um, and then kind of shove it on the side here along with my hand sanitizer. Um, that way it kind of keeps it all together since I'm using the mesh pockets for diapers. And the hand sanitizer ah, fits nicely down there. That way the bags don't fall out. Um, and then I just throw the wipes right in here um, to keep them all together. It does zip. It's kind of awkward, but it totally works. Um, like I said, it's mainly just the packing it um, that's a pain. Um, but when you do have it stuffed this way, I mean, it does buckle a little in the back with the change pad um, if you want to keep that in there. You can always put a light changing pad or disposable changing pad back there um, to save on space. But they uh, definitely hold um, a similar amount. Um, I would say the between has a little more extra usable space, mainly because on the Hobo B, um, where you have your extra space on the top, the uh, design of the bag zips down or zips in a downward, you know, U motion, so you lose uh, some of the ability to store um, items on top. Whereas in the between, um, it's square, so you still can, you know, throw stuff in there, which is a really nice feature. However, the between definitely looks like a diaper bag, albeit a super cute diaper bag. Um, it has that boxy um, diaper bag shape. Um, so if you're looking for something that uh, looks a little bit cuter, more like a purse. Um, Hobo Bee is definitely for you. Um, it is a little harder to use on the mommy pocket than um, the between, but I personally still think it's totally uh, functional. I have no problems with it. It's kind of a personal thing, but both are super great bags. Um, I recommend giving both a try. Um, find what you like if you're able. If not, um, it's purse versus mini diaper bag look, honestly, in my opinion. So I hope this was helpful for you guys, and thank you so much for watching.